Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, I've got a customer that called in and he's got a W235 Swather that he's having some auto steer issues with. And so we're gonna take a look at that real quick and see if we can get him up and going and see what's wrong with this thing. And so we're out here in the hay field now and uh, we'll take a look at it and fill you in and what we find. real quick we're in the w235 and we're driving through the field and we're locked on the line and just to give you an idea of what's going on here as you can see we're moving back and forth pretty man we're moving back and forth a lot and the faster you go it just gets worse and so what i think's going on is i think that our rear steer is probably not working on this W235, our auto tracks valves working and engaging, but I think our rear steer, I don't know if you can see in the mirror there, but our rear wheels are, I don't think we have any rear steer going on at all. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at that and we'll let you know what we find. Now I wanna show you what I found. Um, we found some sensors that need to be calibrated that were out of adjustment. And I'm gonna show that to you here real quick on the other side of the machine here. Okay, so the steering mechanism is here. And if you can see this top sensor right here, okay, that is our steering mechanism position sensor. And so that has to be calibrated prior to calibrating the propulsion sensor, which is on the bottom here. And I'll show you those addresses up in the cab here in just a moment. But to calibrate these two sensors, you have to have this special tool, okay? And what this tool does is basically we mount that tool up in this area and it pins in to that arm there, okay? And then also pins around the cylinder here and keeps this steering mechanism in a center position during calibration. And there's a couple different calibrations for that in Service Advisor, but you do have to have this special tool to be able to run that calibration on that position sensor. So if that position sensor happens to go bad and you have to replace it, then this tool has to be used to calibrate that position sensor and then also to calibrate the propulsion sensor. And so real quick, I'm gonna show you up in the cab what we had going on was when you drive the machine through the field using auto track, the machine would constantly hunt back and forth. Propulsion sensor calibration is found under calibrations. Address 28 is our position. Show you that on the display here. We'll go down to our XSC controller. We'll go down to address 28. Okay, that's our actuator cal. Um, basically, that's the uh, sensor position, that top sensor cal. And then also we'll have to do the propulsion sensor cal, and that's a driving calibration, by the way. We also went in and calibrated the auto track valve. It made a huge difference also on how the machine drove. So we went and tried it out here in this little field next to um, this gentleman's barn. The auto track worked great, stayed on line, so he's ready to go cut hay. So we're going, we're going to return this machine back to the field and see how it runs and we'll check back in with you later quick recap on the w235 with the auto steer and or steering issues um the customer's original complaint was that when he was running in the field cutting hay cutting wheat hay um the swather was moving back and forth from left to right about eight to ten inches most of the time and then sometimes even more than that making it a really really uncomfortable ride and so we went out and looked at the machine and figured out real quick that we had some calibration issues and uh, whether things had changed in the valve or in the sensors we don't know but we went ahead and ran the calibrations on the uh, steering mechanism 
position sensor and then also ran the propulsion cal and then we also went ahead and ran a calibration on the auto track valve then we went and ran the machine out in a field here by the barn and it seemed to auto track really really good so we sent the machine back to the field and the customer has reported back that the machine is working really, really good and the auto track's really comfortable. So hope these uh, tips and tricks helped you out. Thanks for watching and we'll have some more videos coming soon. So Larry the Tractor Guy signing out.